Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, I'm out here in the walking trail again, was thinking about what kind of a video I'd like to make today. I'd like to see what the inside of an ignited fire roll looks like. Now we always get to see what the cross section of a fire roll looks like, but what about horizontally? Let's try this cotton ball. Usually I use a half, but I'm gonna use an entire cotton ball. So I'll have more time to cut it in half. And you can just imagine what's going to happen to the ember on the inside when the air hits it. It's going to really want to burn up fast. Well, let's just see. Let's see what we can come up with and what kind of video we can get. Half a teaspoon of ashes. some ashes on the board because it's feeling kind of slick. That's better. All right, I'm gonna roll it several times in this direction, which since I put more pressure on the forward stroke tends to tighten it up. Then I'm gonna turn it around and give it some uh, some rolling in this direction, which tends to loosen it up. As you can see, it's ignited. Let's see if we can cut it now. I thought it was gonna burn up a lot quicker than that when the air got to it. Okay. I was wondering if we could see anything interesting on cotton. Cause like I say, as soon as the air hits it, it's just gonna ember right up. Let's go ahead and get the flames with this cotton fire roll. Right. Here we have a shop towel, brand new, never been washed. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like it has too many chemicals in it, but uh, you never know what's in there that might inhibit ignition. Let's go ahead and give it a try. This one we won't have to cut to the center of this. This one we'll unravel. I like to have a long piece of fabric for the fabric fire roll. Cut that border off right there. I mean, I may not use all of that. Is 
it's really stretchy so stretchy is not good when it comes to a fabric fire roll so let's try to stress it out some But what is good about these shop towels, look at how loose that weave is. I think that's why shop towels will fire roll better than most fabric. Same thing on this, quarter teaspoon of ashes. It's just as tight as you can get it. I don't like that there's a little bit of springiness, a little bit of stretch in this, because that really makes it hard for it to tighten up enough to fire roll and ignite properly. And our biggest challenge is gonna be to get this edge here to lay down because as we're rolling it's going to want to tighten up and this flap open and loosen up tighten up loosen up tighten up loosen up i think when you use a long piece of fabric even though the outside layers may be loose i think the inside layers just keep getting tighter and tighter and tighter so that's why i like to use a longer piece for a fabric fire roll and i'm going to need some more ashes on the board Let me just wait till that car pulls off and we'll continue on when the when the car leaves. Hold on. All right, they finally pulled off. All right, let's go ahead and ignite this. And once we see that it's thoroughly ignited, good and hot, let's see if we can find this leading edge and go ahead and roll it open. And I anticipate it's gonna stay ignited even though we go all the way to the core because it's ash tender. let it get good and hot let all that heat rise to the surface and then we'll peel it open if my fingers can take it I better go ahead and get it started Well, it burned in two. That'll help us open it up, I think. Yeah. You see those edges? Those edges are gonna stay ignited. There's the actual inside right here. And just like you would expect ash tender to do, it's gonna just keep on burning until there's no more fuel left. Same thing here. Yeah. 
That's about all my fingers can take. So, I did want to explain this to you. We'll let that sit there and just keep getting hotter and hotter. Oftentimes, when I take and roll up a fire roll, and the I describe it as the ember is working its way from the center to the surface, that's not completely correct. I think common sense would dictate that you can't really have a glowing ember until there's oxygen involved. There's no oxygen down in the very center where you've got fuel and you've got heat. So what's actually working its way from the center to the surface is heat. So think about how intense that heat must be. The heat has to go through like on a fabric fire roll, has to, the heat has to go through like six layers of insulation. Um, there's heat sinking going on. So how intense must that core heat be to work its way to the surface where the oxygen is at so it can make a glowing ember? I wish somebody would do that study. I wish you could take a fire roll and right when you stop rolling it, have it in a environment like nitrogen and in an inert gas like nitrogen and then take and cut it right in half and take a heat gun or thermal imaging and see just how hot the core is. Let's go ahead and get our flames right here and that'll be it for today. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.